A new miner just leaked. Mine's the second most profitable coin you can mine in the world. So we're talking about 30 bucks a day in mining profitability on this new miner. It's more efficient, it's better than all the known competition. And I just dropped over six grand to order it. My name is Vosk. You're on the Vosk on YouTube channel. Let's dig into what the hell have I done and is going on. Mining's heating up in more ways than one, my friends. I've been working very hard building out the next evolution of the Voscoin mining farm over the last couple of years, and I don't want to miss the boat when the market ticks up. And really, I'm getting, I'm getting a bit of FOMO, right? And these manufacturers want to capitalize on that. They've been waiting. Enter Dogecoin, putting out over $2 million of newly mined coins per day. It's merged mined with Litecoin doing a solid two and a half million of new coins daily. It's seen very good price appreciation recently. It has now edged out Caspa to be back in the number two position. So all the leaks came out over the last day or so about the new script miner, the Alpha Pex DG1, hashing at 11,000 mega hash a second, wow. which makes it the most powerful and most efficient and most profitable Dogecoin ASIC miner. This is a custom computer, right? It's an application specific integrated circuit miner. This is a passive income monster and it should pay back in about a year. That's at current rates and that's after paying a set 10 cent per kilowatt hour electricity bill. We can see this little breakdown on this MTA chart of your profit versus the electricity cost. So this is a script miner. Do you want to trade cryptocurrencies? Do you want to trade derivatives? then check out BYDFI that made today's video possible and our link to them will get you some sign up bonuses as well as their entire welcome rewards section. You may also know them by their former name and branding, Bityard. So check out our link, learn more and secure that bonus with the link out below. Alpha Pex, probably never heard of them. Apparently they're on some sign, looks like, I don't know, maybe Arizona or something, Texas. They got this miner that looks like every other amp miner. I mean, it it looks like they're literally nearly using Bitmain amp miner boxes, right? And so if we go over to Bitmain's site, and they're one of the leading ASIC miner manufacturers, if you didn't know that. And we look around, and, and what, what do we see? We don't see any Litecoin miners, so let's show sold out products. We'll go here, the L7 is out of stock and it's been sold recently from them before any discounts at a similar price point. This post from T-Swift, who I also went ahead and just ordered one of these from, has the details of 11,000 mega hash a second, right? The same as 11 giga hash a second, 3,420 watts of power consumption, which means it's more efficient than the Bitmain Amp Miner L7. And then the 9,500 mega hash a second version is, is one of the better ones. It's spot, right? It's in stock, ready to ship immediately. This is the now the best script miner for LTC and Doge. This post says you'll make 24 bucks a day before electricity. Uh, this mining profitability calculator says that you will make 28. And this mining profitability calculator says you're making 24 bucks a day before you put any towards electricity just on the Bitmain Antminer L7, but nine giga hash a second model. So I've had two L7s, one of them, or really both of them for quite a while, maybe like even around a year for my first one. Uh, they've been very good miners, very profitable miners consistently earning 10 to 30 dollars a day over the last several months and even year right in passive income of mined coins these l7s have gone up in price as doge has nearly doubled in price over the last month or so but they were always expensive because a lot of people are confident and fine to bet on litecoin and dogecoin mining they are long-standing cryptocurrencies they produce a lot of money in emissions daily right they're here they're gonna be here, they're gonna be here next year. They're pretty static, they stick around, a bit boring, but again, you know, stable, right? So these miners have consistently carried a premium. And so if you wanna stick with something tried and true, like the L7 here off of ASIC Marketplace, this is an option. And by the way, they're long-term supporters of the channel and you can get a discount, code Voscoin, they sell a bunch of other miners and stuff like that. And, and I get my miners really fast from them, so it's a true pleasure working with them and ordering from them. 
But on the flip side, you see this thing, uh, and it's only you know a couple bucks more, and it's a better device. Unproven manufacturer, right? What if something goes wrong? I mean, there's so many scary variables here with new minor manufacturers. It's very rare that a new minor manufacturer comes out of the woodwork and does a pretty good job overall. The only recent standout that we've seen do anything like that is going to be Ice River. They've got their new commemorative edition, if you haven't seen that one yet. Uh, we've got a link and code to save you some coin, punch it in the code box corner, their site, all that stuff too. Not to shameless plug my freaking codes. I just want you guys to get a discount if you're gonna order and it supports the channel, so it's, it's a win-win, right? But this is a great starter miner, but what's crazy is mining is so hot right now, literally every single other device they have is sold out right now. So. These are crazy times. Many different cryptocurrencies are going up. I just posted a video a couple days ago about how, you know, all these mineable coins are going up in price. They are, the, the miners are becoming more expensive. The mining profitability is up significantly. Bitcoin, you know, keeps, you know, going up, up, up. Right. And, and so I'm taking a step back, right? Forget all the YouTube, you know, content creation stuff we do. I'm looking at my mining farm and I'm like, woo, I, I got a lot of space left, right? And I'm at, you know, still, I don't know, I'll call it phase two, right? Or maybe four or something. The mining farm, like phase one is just kind of get anything up operational. Like just, just have, just be able to plug something in and be able to mine, right? Phase two is scaling out somewhere. I have 1,600 amps deployed on the Voscoin mining farm right now. 1,600 amps uh, that I can tap into in one way, a shape, form, or another. Uh, phase three is gonna be deploying three phase. Oh, that's good, because it's phase three, it's three phase. I, I didn't plan that, that's cheesy, whatever, whatever. So that's three phase, uh, phase three, jeez. And then phase four for me, right, is integrating solar and you know be trying to become my own electricity provider my own power producer right but my point is I'm, I'm sitting here looking around the farm we've been putting in so much work we've been putting in so much time i mean we have spent so much time just in that immersion shed it's crazy last night i was trying to fall asleep and i closed my eyes and like i'm just seeing the inside of the immersion shed i'm just like so good i need a day off what's that but the point is right i got room I just ordered 12 more miners to build out the farm, which is very exciting. The biggest miner order to the Vasco mining farm to date. And also, like I said earlier in the video, I see this new miner, the price seems solid, specs seem solid, and I'd like to order it and, and you know, have it for content creation, check out a new miner manufacturer. I, I love, you know, trying this, trying that, being a nerd. I've never lost the love of that in, in this whole crypto and mining aspect of everything we do. But it's also an, an excuse, right, to make content, but also build out the farm. I'm now adding, you know, maybe about plus 30 bucks a day to the mining farm's profitability. And, you know, it really starts to compound. And it's really exciting. I have no idea if this thing's going to be any good. Uh, I didn't get this for free. You know, I, again, you know, I just I straight up bought it. I'm investing in the channel, investing in the mining farm. And I won't lie, I have a bit of FOMO. I don't want the market to run, 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 run. And okay, I'm doing good with what I've got. But it's now so expensive to buy any additional gear, right? The, like any mining rig that was decent at all was like selling for 10 grand in the previous crypto bull run. When miners get to ridiculous prices, I wanna have my mining farm full. Uh, so, you know, is this the miner I'm looking for? Is this gonna be the one? Honestly, I doubt it, but I'm very curious to see and I'm excited, uh, you know, to have sunken order real quick on it. I'm uh, gonna check it out. Obviously, you'll have a full on hands uh, review for it. But you know, at the end of the day, the mining game is is continuing to change rapidly, right? Almost every major mineable cryptocurrency is mined by ASIC miners, whether you, whether you love or hate that, right? And most of these are even the you know industrial design where you need 240 voltage. It has the attached power supply. Uh, you need Ethernet, right? There's no Wi-Fi, there's no 120 volt, right? You're not plugging this to any outlet in your house. So anyway, just kind of make sure you understand that, you're aware of that. If you're a total noob and you wanted to get into Dogecoin mining, that's where a novelty miner like the Gold Shell, like mini Doge miners come to play. But if you want to mine at a bigger scale and you know you want a, a better bang for your buck, 
you, know, you need to go towards the industrial bigger miners like the Ant Miner L7 and now the Alpha Pex. I mean, I mean this, I don't, I don't know who comes up with these names. I wish everyone would call me and I could give everybody cool names, but we got, we got the Alpha Pex DG one. I've been really, really leery of getting any more L7s over the past several months because I've been thinking and the rumors have been circulating that Bitmain has the L9 already ready and it's twice as good, it's twice as powerful, it's twice as efficient as the Bitmain Ant Miner L7. Will this thing popping up out of the woodwork be the reason, you know, why they're like, okay, here's our miner, you're new, and now you're already irrelevant. I don't know. I think that this could even, you know, it's still better than L7s. It'll probably, you know, I, I view this as like worst case scenario, I'll probably break even eventually, right? So that's where my head's at. This is the latest, uh, you know, breaking mining news on all that stuff. Uh, I, this is more interesting than some of the more obscure miners that are like coming out or this, that, whatever. Uh, and it's also very bullish, right? We're seeing a bunch of crypto airdrops. We're seeing a bunch of you know new crypto launches and campaigns and even meme coins are starting to gain some fervor. And then we have more and more miners being released. We have manufacturers coming out of the woodwork we've never freaking heard of that have very good machines. Uh, it's... <sighs> Ah, it's kind of smelling like a bull run. It's also smelling like this video is over. So I'll see you later. We're gonna close this out with 10 seconds of our CDO, our Chief Doge Officer here at the Viascoin YouTube channel because you know we got the best Shiba in, in the world. And if anybody needs to be mining Dogecoin, it's probably me. So thanks for watching. I will see you on the next one. And you better subscribe.